Hello everybody, my name is RV Last and welcome back to another game of Learn Japanese to Survive the Hiragana Battle. So where we last left off, uh, we learned Dakuten. So let's go with a new topic. Continue with the lessons please teach. Welcome back, let's carry on with the next lesson. I have something special prepared for today's lesson. Before we study more Hiragana, we're going to learn some Japanese vocabulary. Finally! <laughs> Alright, let's learn some Japanese vocabulary. To give you a break from learning hiragana every lesson, we will mix it up and learn vocabulary every now and then. We'll cover 10 new words each lesson. Alright. As we go, we will demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. You will see how to write each word in hiragana based on the hiragana we know so far. Hmm, interesting. I'll show you our first word and demonstrate how these vocabulary vocabulary lessons work. Hi. Hi. Well, obviously, hi. <laughs> Let's break down the text above. Oh, let me write this down. Romanji of hi. Uh, hi equals ha dash that guy right there, which is pretty much just yes. First line in blue is how to write the Japanese word in Romanji. A uh, Romanji. I, I kept thinking it was Romanji. The Roman and then G. Romaji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. R Romaji is very common and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from the Japanese ro use Romaji. Think of words like tsunami, karaoke, sensei, etc. Romaji is super simple and easy to read. As you learn more hiragana and gain an understanding of the simple syllables used in Japanese, you'll be able to write words in Romaji as well as hiragana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the Romaji reading until we learn all of the relevant hiragana, which brings me back which brings me to the next slide written in black. This is the hiragana word reading of the word. As lessons get more advanced and you learn more hiragana, this word these words will become entirely written in hiragana. Oh that's great. <laughs> when the, when there are syllables used that we haven't learned yet, I'll just display the romaji. So in our example above, you'll see it as ha ha e. We haven't learned the hiragana for ha yet, but we've learned e. Hmm. The dashes in between are just to symbolize the gap between each symbol, so you don't need to actually write these in hiragana or romaji. Thank God! Finally, a third line in orange is the English the translation of the word. So, the example above teaches us that the word hi means yes in English. Awesome! That's great. Next, I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. Hi. Hi. High five, bros. High five. Hi. <laughs> this word sounds like hi or hi. However, remember how hi. how e sounds like e? The word hai is actually pronounced as ha-i. Ha-i. But since Japanese is a language is spoken at a rapid pace, the symbols tend to merge. Seriously, you Japs speak so fast. A general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that the sounds of syllables do not change regardless of what symbol syllable they follow or proceed. We all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways and might not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese, every syllable has a specific pronunciation and it's the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions, but nothing to be concerned with at this stage. Alright. Would you like to listen to the representation? Hi again? Nope. Let's look at our second word. Ie. Ie. Ie senpai. <laughs> Ie senpai. Alright. Ie. That reminds me of Strike the Blood. And, oh shit. I forgot about that. And that. And. Yeah. This might not be actually pretty hard to learn, but practice makes perfect. Definitely. Def this is definitely a lesson that makes tells says practice makes perfect. Yeah. When dealing with re repeated vowels such as e, 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 e you should you draw out the length of the sound. That's basically why in fan tra in translations I guess you see hi or something like that. You draw out the length of the sound. It's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. Listen carefully to the example pronunciation. Uh, so basically, those entire Nandeste or Sonabakana stuff like that, where you actually, if you actually look at the text, it actually does uh, repeat the text for some reason. It's, so it's basically the. Uh, I, I I'm guessing it. Uh, it's. It's more for screaming words, I guess, as well. So anyway, I know. 
Let's look at our next word. Watashi. 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 Man, you are. Thank you, Baka and Test. Uh, but we don't have a hiragana for it. So it's not like it's kind of useful for me. Watashi equals wa ta enchi equals I. <laughs> but why not ore or boku or <laughs> what's the other ones? Washi. <laughs> Watashi is the Japanese word for I used when referring to yourself. This is not a substitute for the letter I. Watashi. You'll use watashi often in conversation when talking about yourself. It is a formal and polite word. Yeah, I've seen that in TV shows. Not to mention, it, you see it a lot in anime, but but you hear it a lot in anime, but you, you also hear a lot of obokus, ores, and uh, washis. There are more casual words used to defer yourself in Japanese, but they are safe for chatting with your friends and family. Fine. Word four. Anata. So, anata. Good old darling. Alright, how do you write this again? I don't even remember now. Uh, uh, and then. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's, let's just rewrite that again. One sec. Uh huh. Why do you why do you just make these kinds of complicated words? Okay, na and ta, which just basically means you. Anata, Japanese word for you used when you're referring to the person you are talking to. Anata. You can use this word in conversation when talking about your conversation partner. However, you can consider rude to use it in the wrong context. Once of the time, you refer to people by their name even when you're talking to them directly. It sounds weird in English, but it's normal in Japanese. Hey, you! Hey, Anata! <laughs> Oi, Anata! Uh, Oi, Anata! <laughs> oh, boy. It's like, Anata, Anata, Anata! Anata, Anata, Anata! <laughs> you! It's like one of those, you, 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 or something like that. No. Ready for word five? The rest of the words in this lesson are for objects used when studying. Look around now. Hopefully you have most of these things handy. Ding. Oh, hi. <laughs> pen is the Japanese word for pen. Who knew? This is a word that has been borrowed for, from English. Really now? Why is it pen? Uh, pen. Pen. And then pen. <laughs> Why is it pen? Ding. Pen. It's an easy word and it's pronounced the same. When you write words borrowed from other languages in Japanese, you wouldn't normally use hiragana. Instead, you use a set of characters called katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. Ah! Yeah, I, re yeah, I didn't know about that one, though. Specifically for foreign words, huh? However, since the software is about learning hiragana, we will write borrowed words like pen in hiragana and romaji. Nope. Word 6. Enpitsu. End pizza. I don't have any end pizzas near me though, but whatever. That's kind of weird to actually say, it. or that's kind of weird to actually say it in Japanese, like <laughs> pencil. So hey guys, you got any end pizzas out there? <laughs> oh my god, I just end pizza. So eh. Two. Pencil. Alright. It's a bit of a mouthful, so listen to the pronunciation a few times and practice saying it. Oh, yeah. Enpitsu. 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 You guys got any enpitsus? Ready for word seven? Tsukue. Tsukue is Japanese for desk. <laughs> Why do you guys do these things? All right, two ku e, two, then ku e, desk. All right, 
Tsukue. Tsukue. Hey, I have some Tsukue already. Working on my Tsukue right now. How does that? One of these days, I'm so gonna mix and match English and Japanese while I'm doing a walk, uh, pl uh, let's play or something. Isu. Isu. Hey, I'm sitting on my Isu, guys. How, how do you like my Isu here? My Isu is so great. Isu. Uh, let's see. That one and that one right there. Su. And chair. Alright. Someone, you better sit on that isu right there, or else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anata must sit on that isu. <laughs> God. Hon. Honjitsu wa. Wait. But what's honjitsu then? Because I keep hearing that in uh, Japanese. Or whatever. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we are in turn toward, because you know it. It just said it a while ago, but I kind of, I kind of forgot. Hoen. Book. Got it. Hon. Where's that? Noto. No. Noto de sushiten again. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you, Code Yes. Thank you. Thank you for those wonderful times of that fan translation. Thank you, GG Fun Subs. <laughs> Noto. Noto desu shiten again. Noto. Noto. That's the end of our first vocabulary word lesson. You now know 10 Japanese words that are going to be very useful. Well done. We're going to move on to the next Harigana lesson. Before we do. Yes, we should probably do that. There we go. Third set Hiragana. The Sa series. Alright. It's gonna be a long. Better divide that into two right now. Alright, there we go. Five new characters to learn in this lesson. I will go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of this chapter, we will have a quiz. So do your best. Okay! We have these things. Sashi su se so. Why is. Why is. Uh, why is she. Why is she. There? Why couldn't we see? Like, see, senor. I'll pronounce each one for you as we go, so you get the right idea. Here's our first new character. Okay, better... Okay. Sa. Sate. Sa. I don't remember seeing this in Super Robot Wars whenever Shu says, Sa. Or maybe I'm just blind. And maybe I, I just never read it. Probably. Sa. Oh yeah, should probably pr write the pronunciation. Sa. 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 Got it. Sa. That's how you write it. Moichido. Wait, what? What? That does not look like... How? How? That is not close. To that. <sighs> Alright, whatever. It's Japan. I'm not even gonna question it. She. She. Okay. She. Isn't that similar to something? Oh, it's similar to E, but, uh. It's like a sickle. It's more. It's more sickle ish. Okay. And it's pronounced a she. She what? <laughs> she bang, she bang. <laughs> she. She. It's like a sickle. All, all in one stroke. Or like a letter L. Well, slightly. In just one stroke, line is straight, but make sure you curve it correctly at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next character. She. Holy crap, what the frack. It's a 9 with a T. Su. Dummy Su. I'm guessing it's a loop. <laughs> and then across. That seems to be just about right. Su. 
Alright. Suit. Suit. Yep. I knew it. It's a loop. I figured. It's like a nine loop. One more time. Eh, eh. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Rhythm two strokes. The tail of the bottom curves slightly after the loop. Yep. I got it. Ready for the next character. Holy crap! Why the? <gasps> Why? <laughs> Please don't add any more Dakotens. For the love of all, that's good. And then. And then. That way? Okay. Say. And then say. Got it. Say. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So basically, you do the you do the that, the horizontal, then the right one line, and then the left line. Huh. How do you how how did Japan invent any of these writings? Vertical on the right has a slight tail formed when your pen lifts. Vertical line on the right has a small tail when it lifts. When your pen lifts. Okay. Get ready for the next character. Holy crap, what the hell is this zigzag? What is this? Uh, what is this? A f G sharp or a flat or something? No, no, not a G sharp. What are we talking about? No one. Uh, what's the what's the other one? The G cleft. What was the other one? Ah. It's like the other one. It's like the other one. It's not the G cleft. Uh, it's like it's one of the music notes. I, I don't remember. But it's not the G cleft one. I don't remember anymore. But it does look like that. So it's a Z and then a C. Got it. Z and C. Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Oh, well, I mean, I've seen it before so many times. <laughs> An anime and all those things I've played, but... This looks a little bit too familiar. So... so. So it's like a Z with a C. More, one more time. Bink, bink. Z and then C. Practice writing the character now. Some, some tips: make sure make this character with just one stroke. Make sure you cur to curve the last part properly. Oh, oh. got it. Finish the set of hiragana. These five characters: Sa, Shi, Su, Sei, So are all quite commonly used. So be sure to memorize them. Before we continue, they like to save their progress so far. Yes, please. Thank you. Go here to show you some common Japanese words written entirely in hiragana. Sound them out using the knowledge you have so far. Say the words out loud and probably get the meaning right away. Here's a Japanese word. Can you know these characters now? Can you guess the word? What the word is? That is a su. Oh, it's sushi. Oh, it's interesting. That's sushi. <laughs> sushi. Sushi. That that's correct. Sushi is a Japanese word that's known in many cultures. Okay. That's that was pretty cool. All right. So the nine loop. And does in the sickle. Sushi. That's interesting. Sushi. Sushi is a popular dish made with raw fish. If you haven't tried to give it a go, it will surely enhance your appreciation of Japanese. Pandering too much. Here's a second Japanese word. It's a tough one. Can you? There's one character over here we haven't learned yet. Can you spot it? That is se. The hell is that? I'm thinking it's a second letter. Se, whatever se. Oh, sensei. That's letter. That's sensei. Has to be sensei. The character we haven't learned is the second one there. N. This is the character for the letter N. Okay, I should probably write that down. N and holy crap! Why is Sensei so f long? Sensei. Has to be Sensei. There's no other way. 
Now that you know that, can you work out the word is? If you're having trouble, break it down and spell it as such. It will look like this. Sensei. <laughs> Looks like we've written sensei. Sensei is a word you've probably heard a lot in movies and television. Sensei means teacher or Japanese. Teacher or master in Japanese. Sensei. sensei is very commonly used in karate when addressing your master. Here's a third word. Holy crap. Why? Why, why do these things become a thing? Alright. There. I've seen the Daku 10, so I'm gonna have to look for the Daku 10 thing. Uh, looks like the second word again. Looks like a number five with a, an apostrophe. And then, oh god, the Dakoten. The Dakotens are back. Why? Why Dakoten? You're gonna confuse me so much right now. Okay, what the heck is this? So, what do we have here? It's Ka. Uh. The heck? Ka something O. And the last one is. Karaoke. Got it. It's karaoke. <laughs> That's interesting. Karaoke. So the five is. The five is Ra. Got it. I think that's supposed to be curved upwards a bit. Okay, there we go. Much better. They haven't learned the character we haven't learned is the second word there. Ra. This is a symbol for this uh for Ra. Now that you know that can you work out the, what the word is? If you're having trouble, break it down and spell it as it's a, a, out of sense. It will look like this. Kara okay. <laughs> We've lo looks like we've written karaoke. Karaoke is a fun singing activity. Maybe you've visited a karaoke club or sung karaoke at before home before? Yes, I have. <laughs> Did you know that the word karaoke originated from Japanese? Well, you do now. Thank you. That's all for our Japanese words this lesson. Once we've learned some hirag more hiragana, we'll learn some new words. Do you remember our friend the Dakuten? I hate that guy so much right now. This guy lets us change the sound of hiragana. You'll you remember we used it on the... On the, what was it? Ka series? Oh yeah, I should probably write down the Sa series here. The Ka series of characters to turn their sound from K to G. Here's some good news. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Here's some good news. We can use Dakuten on our newly f learned Sa series. Adding, adding Dakuten to the characters we've learned in this lesson transforms the sounds from S to Z. Oh no. <laughs> I hate you so so much right now. Yeah. Zawardo. Oh good god. Why? Why? <laughs> Why Dakutens? Why? This is a za. Yeah. Za, no. G. G. Oh boy, why is G like the exception? Maybe they don't have a... Uh, G. G end. <laughs> it is not a Z symbol. Uh, G. I should... There we go. G. And then... There we go. They, wa they also quiz you on the pronunciation, so you better... <laughs> Even though it shouldn't really matter too much, but what else? G. G. Practice right. Oh, good God, Zoo. Hey, thank you, Zoo. Oh, good God. And then. Come on. Dakotan at the right side of the cross. And that is a Zoo. Why, why do you do these things, Japan? Why do you add doom dakutens? Z. Z. Oh, so that's how you write the zeta. Got it. 
That's why there's a Zeta Gundam. And the Dakotan is over here. Got it. Z. And then there's one more. Z. 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 Beam. Z. Z. At least it's the, at least this one's the easy one. Z with a C. Uh, Z. Got it. Zo. Zo. Nope. Practice writing Zo in your notebook now. Well, now we've now finished this set. From this lesson, you've learned a total of 10 new hiragana and a few and 10 words of random words. Thank you. If they instead the guy 3, use this from the items menu to quickly revise this lesson. Thank you. That wraps up this lesson. Great work. Thank you. Let me guess. You're now going to quiz us. You know it. Aw, oh, man. Chin up, Leon. We need to revise what we've learned or we get our butts kicked next time we go out to battle Hiragana Warriors. Hey, but I have a notebook. I, I should be fine, right? <laughs> Eric's right. Frankly, I want to learn as much as I as soon as I, uh, as much as I can and as, as soon as possible so I can give Nobro a piece of my mind. All in due time. Let's focus on our quiz. Question one, what is this character? You are a character she. What is this character? You are the character soul. The, my man. What is this character? Oh, you're or oh, you're throwing you're, you're throwing these things now, aren't you? Aren't, aren't you? You're throwing curveballs on me, aren't you? Hey, wait, what? What the hell? Oh wait, that's oh, yeah, you're not throwing that bullshit on me. Correct, well done. What is that character for the English sound zoo? That would be the nine ball with the Dakotan. What is the character for the English word sa? That is the whatever the hell that is. Congratulations, we've completed the quiz. Let's take a break from study for now. Head to town, relax. If you need to stock up on items or equipment, be sure to do so. Might be a good idea to now look around for side quests. Oh my god. Each side quest will teach you more Japanese. Try to have the people with exclamation icons above their heads. Make sure you check the inn and the tavern too. When you finish exploring the town, come find me and we'll continue our study. Oh, that's great. Holy bajibas. That is a lot to take in. But I am afraid we are all out of time right now, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the other videos I've done in the description down below or at the annotations at the end of this video. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Comment, subscribe, push every single button you see down there. And thank you guys so much for watching with me as we learn Japanese together. I'll see you guys in the next video. So long. Bye bye. The Oscar is mine! The Oscar is down with Leonardo DiCaprio! He already has it, but whatever. Oh god, what the fuck? This is not over yet! Seven damage, it's not five health. Hail of bullets! Pew 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 pew! Dead McJoint! Alright, there we go. Kill that. Well, it's not gonna kill the guy.